Back to Fowler. Oh, wow. Way. Excuse me. Oh. This does more than 360 degrees. Yeah, where does it go in? It goes in it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's like either a big footprint or somebody scuffed their shoe on the green here. And so he's, good, I would say. I'm right there. he's considering chipping it over. And that must be really some sort of a depression there to consider that. <laughs> it's a close look. Never seen this before. Whoa. How about that? You ever see that before, Frank? Like Not from that school, distance. Like that's an for old sure. Stymie spot shot. Inside 10 feet for birdie. Yeah. <laughs> he shoved it right in the middle because it didn't break. Putting stroke has been just superb. At the fourth, perfect. Yeah, it looks like he's got a ton of talent. Delicate shot. Oh, said it was makeable. You that. did. He's only trying to hit a couple feet. Just oh. Get in the hole. Done. That's one way to stop it. Yeah, just hit the stick. Zach Blair using the toe of his putter with the ball up against the heavy cut of the fringe. Oh! That was practice that night. Huh? That was incredible. That was pretty cool. See Wu Kim chipping. You know, when everything goes your wrong way, something's got to go the right way. Well, how about this? You know, you just know those things are going to happen. He's not guaranteed a par yet. Get it! Well, he might have just made a birdie. And the opportunity for McElroy, Woody. Oh, McElroy's done it! Right in the heart of the cup. Rory's third at the seventh. Look at this touch. Yes. Oh, how about that? Just short on the drive, oh, oh, oh. but perfection from there. Jordan Spieth, right. not an easy shot here to get up and down. Oh, goodness gracious. Jordan Spieth, how about that birdie wow. at the last? Because that was motoring, and you got the pond on the other side. We're back at the 14th, and the fourth shot for Tiger Woods. Flop shot it is. What a touch. No way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but I say anything inside of six feet would be a wonderful shot. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, look at this, Peter. Look at this shot. Look at this. Might go in. Might go in. Might go in. It is in. <laughs> he couldn't chip it in on 14, but he did it here on 16. And it's quick after the halfway point because it's a 6% slope. It's 50 feet. So right now it will gather speed. Good weight. It's a two-footer. Oh, my goodness. All the way. Come on! Can you believe that? This for Eagle down a slope and then it should break to his right as it loses speed. Did he do it again? Let's go! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> How can you not love that man right there? Walker Cup, USM's. And you were there, why? Rush knocks. Oh, Rush wow. knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door here at seven. Two under goes Knox. Johnny, that's better than most. 
How about him? That is better than most. Better than most! Kisner, long way out over here with putter at the fifth. A big breaker from left to right. Across the green. Yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Keith Mitchell has got the wedge out on 12. Ooh, I like that. Dead with the hand. Oh. Noise! Noise! Uh, under the heading of things we don't see every round, we saw Zach Blair whiff a couple of times. This is Bryce Mulder at 18. Yeah, and he, you know, chose to let his playing partner leave his ball there. Yes. And he gets a little, a little kiss and into the hole. That makes highlight shows tonight. Left the flag stick in with the maple leaf flag. Good pace. Are you serious? Oh my goodness! Glorious and free! Here he was hitting his second at the sixth hole. It's a par four, already four under par. How about you make it six under? Scheffler is going deep in the afternoon. And Fireworks from Jordan the last half hour or so, including a great up and down at one to keep the momentum going. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh, another oh, man. Man. Speed. And this was a moment ago. Ricky Fowler. We can see the greens have slowed down a little bit because of that rain. She's really started to fool the last 10 minutes. Is it? Do Is it that? Ricky Fowler. Talking about then, there's no angle best he could do but that's actually a very good shot to get to the back right and then the course of frag is front left oh these youngsters oh come please. on now oh come on please. nice three <laughs> this was Nick Taylor's second shot just a moment ago just three birdies here at this difficult par three all day long until that <laughs> well Unexpected pleasure there. I like the way he hits these. Just really cool looking low skitters. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty darn good. Oh, what a way to close it out. Scotty Scheffler, hole out eagle on a 3 and 2 win. Let's go and read this one like a putt. Wow, what a. Oh, my goodness! That's what we were looking for! Wow! <laughs> it went in like a rat up a drain pipe. <laughs> what a shot! Jams it in there. Now to 16. Yeah, Matsuyama to play his third here at the par five. Already three up in his match. Oh! <laughs> well, that'll end it. <laughs> wow! And a long bunker shot up coming here for Webb Simpson. Pretty right, tough to get the right weight on this. Wow, he took a big swipe at this. How about this Boy, shot? Really nice. tracking and Webb Simpson, Simpson has hold it. He's got to go straight up the elevator shaft with it. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> Is that Jordan speed to a T right there or what? Mark Hubbard. Oh, man. what a oh, shot with not oh. much room to work with. Love that. Hubbard all smiles. Why wouldn't you be? John Ha earlier at the first from the bunker. Long bunker shot out of the thick, wet sand. Look at this. Oh, oh. on. Something like that. <laughs> That's <laughs> how you do it. Jez Reeves fourth just a moment ago at the final hole. Oh. At speed. Uh -huh. yeah, it did very well. That was off the back of the green. Just a flick in here. Good technique. Notice this sort of no flip with the right hand. Oh, uh oh. Did he? Oh, 
Man, talk about dream starts. How about that? How about a 2 2? Derek Ernst. Just short of the green. Hole location way in the back, and whoops! Not a bad way to come on the air here today. How about that little long pitch and run after bogeying his opening two holes. How about Andrew Putnam from the right rough at 12? Oh! Bounce it in. That's a bonus. Yeah, you got that right. This is the fourth for Hoagie. He gets it up there. Flag shit. Uh, oh, flag this is stick a in the back. Far what? better result. Wow. Nice four. Looked like a birdie all the way. <laughs> this is at the 18th. Bill Haas finding the bunker with his second. And watch this. Mm. Gave it away. An unexpected three. And at 16th hole, Jarko Van Sale is one up on Billy Horschel. This is third shot. Oh. <laughs> By a donkey, as they would say in South Africa. Over at 14, Luke Liss from Vanderbilt to Vanderbilt, a couple of Commodores. Coached yeah. by Scott Limbaugh. And that's oh. in the jar for a nice little pitch pull out there. Luke Liss can absolutely crush it. This is at 17. Billy Horschel just short of the green. He hit that second shot when that rain was driving away back in the fair. Oop, here we go. He's going to go up high over that. Try to spin it and he does. What a shot! Let's go, Rick! <laughs> this is going to be a very different hole today, Paul, with that right hole location. Yesterday, one eagle on the course, Brian Harmon on the first hole. There is the second of the week. This on a par four. I'll go to the front. Peter Malnati, long hole for him, out of position off the tee. This is his third. And will not have a fourth. Ho hum birdie. Let's focus in on the golf once again on the 12th. Moments ago, Brant Snedeker, we talked about his struggles thus far. Seven over par until that. How about that for Brant? <laughs> that went in perfect speed. He drove at miles right. His caddy actually wanted him to go through a small gap, but he elected to play out to the left. Pitching way across the green. That would be almost 50 yards. Get the that people drops. going. Now you're starting to see some birdies pull. Just 52 yards looking straight down this flag. A little bump and run from this long rough. And what a shot here. What a shot! So McElroy makes eagle here at the seven. To 15, third shot for Cameron Young. Bite. It will. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Put me down for a three. And make the margin three. Yeah, Colin, you would have thought has got the game and mental strength to do something at the right time, like so. Oh, again! Hello there. Two and two today from over. That's the lucky spot of the day, right there. See, Will Kim's third. Can't work out is he left or right? He's left of the green. Left, yeah. Gonna play a bump and run. And a bump and running in. Scrambling, kids. You've got to be able to scramble from anywhere. <laughs> I believe you can do anything. Over at five. Johnson Wagner on the cut line. This is second. Just a little pitch. Just to maybe get it just on the green. Let it feed down that hill. Oh! oh. <laughs> no longer on the cut oh, wow. line. You like that, Richie? Ooh. On over to one under. There's a nice ridge right back behind the hole that'll feed that ball back down. It's going to turn. Oh, Eagle for Ames, who's turned 50. Back to the cut line, even par. You think he'll uh, do well out on the Champions Tour, Kurt? All right, so now Kisner, <laughs> who won the 15th to get to one down. Whoa! Oh, you're kidding. Kevin dunks one. This is the third shot at the par 4 12th for Griffin. Get in there. Oh, 
What a shot. That's a bonus birdie there. Grant Snedeker with his second shot. Laid up to about 60 yards, so should be able to put some spin on it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Whoa! Grant Snedeker. There we go. That's Eric Van Royen, the South African, from 61 yards. Here, his third shot at the par 5 ninth. His last shot at the par 5 ninth. Nice I was hoping baby. we'd get to see that bump. mustache. Oh, there a little handlebar go. action there. You might be seeing a lot more of that mustache. This is Scotty Scheffler, 22-year-old. Again, the short par 4, just 334 yards. Oh, oh. one hop and in. I was just going to say it sounded pretty, that strike. I guess so. Robert Streb, 63 yards left to the par 5, 15th. Going right up there. Oh, yeah. Streb putting the brakes on. For a little added drama there at 15. Sweet. Is there room in that cup for two, two golf balls? No. I think there is. No. I think there is. Oh, I see that. Stop it right now. How about that? Mathematicians here, what are the odds on that? Come on, come on. Luke Guthrie here at 18, third shot at the par five over the water. Was Is the only eagle at 18 because of that? Devlin's Billabong right there at 18. Why do they name lakes on 18th hole after Australians? Second shot came up short. This is third from down below. Lands at about 10 feet over the green. And this ball is rolling like a putt and rolling right into the hole. So an unlikely eagle for Jez Reeve. This just a moment ago over at 17, Adam Scott. Local area was excited to see Adam show up. And that is called pooping it. And Decky's about uh, 20 yards or so closer here. Oh, oh, fancy That's shot, sick. and down it goes. Yeah, Hideki, an eagle free. Oh, that was perfection. Here's James Hahn at the 12th. Oh, oh, it's my man what? Hahn, James Hahn. Oh, the man with the golden wedge. <laughs> yeah. This is how Alex started the day, par five. At the ninth, had to lay up. Two hops. There you go. That's how you want to start a round off. Good number. And this is a thing of beauty right here. Third shot to the par five. Bang. One big hop, spin right back into the hole. Perfection. Here's the second shot in the dangerous hole location as we have seen all day so far. You got to be really, really careful. Mm. Or just maybe really, really good. You'll be on the hole, you're gone. Well, it's nice to know it's doable. Another of the graduate from the web.com to Orion Brem, dangerously close to the out of bounds, left of 13, but watch what he does from there. A little bump and run out of the rough. Thank you very much. There's an eagle two for Brem. Gets him back to one over. Now, Homa, awkward distance, huh? Oh, did he clip that nicely? It's in! Oh, my goodness. Wasn't that awkward after all. Now, Horschel from the drop zone. Yeah, after that disastrous shot, 75 yards from the drop oh, zone. Oh, oh hello! Goodness. Slam dunk! That's just a routine par, guys. Oh, man, that is so awesome. You can tell he's almost embarrassed. He is embarrassed. <laughs> Andrew Putnam taking on this front left hole location. 333 yards today. And yeah! how about that? Boy, is that taking it on. Yeah, first timer in the players finishing his first round. Good so far, two under. Oh, how about this one? This will be even better. What a moment. And a round of 68 for C.T. Pan. This was just a moment ago. Max Homa playing his third. Found himself making a run at the title last week before oh, the poor he, final round. But look at this. Is he going to take us Homa, Jim? He does. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you couldn't resist. I couldn't. How about that? <laughs> 
Jim Herman, his third shot. So many good things happening, Steve, in Jim's life. He won for the first time last year. The inauguration. Go ahead and hole it, Jim Herman. Imagine that. These players under par are making four look easy. This is Straka's third at 16. Yeah, first we've seen this whole location. Set <laughs> <Seth> Straka! <laughs> <laughs> from way downtown, bang! I doubt that's his, uh, oh, it's a huge drive. I was gonna say that's his third shot. He's just got a lob wedge in here. Drove it all the way around the corner. And maybe even, oh, he did. <laughs> you can't make two on that. Oh, that's a monster, it's 447 yards. If they whip it over the corner, <laughs> Frank, they land on the downhill. It's not fair. Tiger, winner of three of the last four holes, and now staring down a much kinder hole location today. Should spin. Look at here. And in. Good gracious. And just earlier at the 11th, this is Taylor Pendriff. Huge drive, 83 yards. He's even par for the day. Oh, one hops it into the hole for a deuce. And the 31-year-old Canadian picks up an eagle. Perfect tee shot. And with this, it's pretty hard to play this hole better than this. One, two. Aaron Wise from 85 yards, one of the rookies to make it to this BMW championship. Well, is he going to utilize that slope behind the hole that we talked about? Yes, he will. And Wise is on a run. Gets a little knuckles there from his playing competitors. All right, over here at 16, Jason Duffner having some struggles. Plus four has yet to make a birdie today. Well, he throws it high up on the hill. Watch this one come back. Watch this one. Picking up speed. Oh, there's your hole out, Steve Sands. There you go, Gary. Huh? J.J. Spawn was particularly satisfied with this third shot at this hole. The par 5 eighth from 87 yards. Picture perfect. As J.J. Spawn drops it in for the eagle. Gosh, he has just been fighting his game today. Not clicking on all cylinders at this moment. Oh, and how about that four the hard way for Hideki? <laughs> that ought to bring a smile to your face. Come on, Hideki. Robert McIntyre, the lefty European Tour Rookie of the Year last year from Scotland, had this from 89 yards, using the slope and the Scott, perfect. Holds it out for Eagle. Hit it in the rough off the tee. This is what you're going to do. You're going to lay up short of the water. Yeah. Try to get out of here with a four. Oh, how about a three? <laughs> Good entertainment, routine birdie. <laughs> Here is the first, that par five playing as the easiest hole on the golf course over the first day and a half. Brant Snedeker's third. Hello. Well, that helps. All the Korean food that they're serving. I bet Siwoo Kim likes that spice. Oh. Tyrrell Hatton, he's pretty spicy. Get in the hole. Wow, what a shot by Terrell Hatton. <laughs> yeah, and should be able to spin it, and you can see the, the wind uh, helping just a little bit, but I think you still throw it beyond the flag stick here because you're going to put a lot of spin on it. Here it comes. There we go. Oh, maybe. How about us? Let's go. That's the big bird. This is green light all the way. If you can control your spin, you can get it really close here. Look out. Here we he go. go! How about that? That wasn't tough. What, that a, good. what a shot, Billy. Got a little bit of a backstop back there, too, if you want to fly it up there. Let it come back with a little spin, but just don't over spin it. It'll get going down that hill. Well, excellent. He got it. Got it. But a while since we've seen that. That is awesome. Great call, Phil. 
You heard Joe say he didn't think the wind was going to do much to it, and you're exactly right, Trevor. When you get that little flyer lie, the ball kind of knuckles and goes right through it. This is well judged here. How about it? How about it? Oh, oh my God. goodness. Come on now. Let's go, Joe. Game on, Terry. Difficulty here for Tigers not to put too much backspin on it. Well, that was actually a pitching wedge, if you can believe it, Robin. So he's trying to knock it down. I like that play. And I like that shot. Go in. Oh! High five from partner Jerry Jang and Tiger Woods has suddenly vaulted to tie for second and only two strokes behind Matt Gogol. <laughs> Right back in it. Kenzie on six in the south course. Yeah, par five. Gentle left to righter. And well, hey, hop, skip, and a jump. Gently nice. in. Nice three. Just 99 yards. This just happened. He took some kind of a divot with that. Is there going to be another one? Oh, yeah. Of course there is. <laughs> I lost count of the whole house this week. Tony Finau. Let's see what Finau does here. A moment ago, they had the spin and the line. Come on. All right. I read it just right from 100 yards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> moment ago, Zach Blair is second. He pushed his drive almost to the edge of the lake, so he shortened this hole up. Oh! I guess he did. That works. Time spent playing it, too. Kurt Kitayama is part of the fifth pairing out from 102 yards. Wow is right. And keep it under that tree in front of him. Wow. Oh. Much left to go for much of the field. Didn't quite do it a moment ago, but pretty damn good. Patrick Cantlay drove it in the rough, had to lay up. Boy, big swing with the sand wedge there. Able to put a lot of spin on it. And Patrick Cantley catapults into the lead at 12 under with that eagle. That's his eighth eagle of the season. Well, that was taking place. The third for Tommy Fleetwood here at 18. Yeah, I drove it in the bunkers. Had a bad leg and only chop it out to here. Uh -huh. oh, Tommy. <laughs> I have not seen one of those in a while. Saw a streelman in front of the green, but not that far back. Back over to 17. Third shot for Jordan Spieth. Well, tries it in low again. Struck it beautifully. Uh, 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 oh, there we go. I'm not even sure he liked that when he hit it. Three shots back. That from 107 with a lob wedge. That's making it happen. Wow. Are you kidding me? I mean, he holds for even number nine. What pressure. <laughs> I'm going to tell you up front, Jim Herman, he birdied the 16th. That's not that unusual, but hit his second shot in the water. This from the drop zone. That's one way to birdie it, Trev. <laughs> nice. There you go. Nice little bounce back there after the ball in the water. Harmon. Wow. Harmon's going to hold it out to start the day. Yeah. And this was at the 16th, his second shot. Yeah, some early fireworks out of Tyrrell from 110 yards, little sand wedge, and he just went ahead and dunked it. No. Greens are still soft. Cabrera Bayo at the 12th, his second shot. A short par four. Iguela. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. An eagle, too. Oh. 
That's so good. That is so good. I, I, I had it back. Right there. Jordan Spieth ready to go here, Colt. This is Sandwich. He'll be looking to go right at this one. Well, you were quite bullish on his chances here. We know he's got a tremendous record. And look out! Oh, oh Jordan Spieth holds from the fairway for Eagle 2. He's got his mojo back, doesn't he, Colt? Danny Von Tunder with his third shot here at the R5 third. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, there you go. Slam dunk. <laughs> Keegan Bradley playing Seaside, which is more exposed to the waters of St. Simon's Sound. This is a second shot at the 11th, and that is jarred from 115 yards. And that got him to seven under par. First time here for Tom Kim. There's a lot of young. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Maui, Tom Kim. Thanks. Over at three, Derek Fathauer is having a good couple of days. He's at four under. Well, they're driving it miles down the third. But... Oh, oh, and that helps. I was just about to say, wait to see this whole location. It's brutal. There's no chance to get close. <laughs> and he does that. Breeze is still. One of the great looks for a second shot on the PGA Tour into this green. Marvelous shot for Day. It's a beauty. Jason Day has gone from two back to tied for the lead. This is about as easy as a pin you'll get at the 17th. Hardly any wind right now, and this is a beauty. Oh, he flew oh. it all. Guard it. <laughs> Carl Yuan hoops it. He's now at 18 under, one back. Second shot at par four here. Oh. <laughs> well, that helps. That'll be back to plus two. <laughs> 121 yards. The question he's got to ask himself here is, does he want to attack this flag? Well, there's your answer. There's That's attacking, and Justin Thomas has hold it. Come on, baby, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, Woo! 64, just like that. Another perfect tee shot, good angle at this back right pin, just 122 with a little bit of help. Ooh, right oh, now it goes in. Wow, what a shot from Victor Hovland. Pitching wedge, so just a little bump with one. Yeah, saw off the finish. Line's good. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this just moments ago. Sam Ryder <laughs> taking it right at it. Talk to me. Come on. Oh, my God. There's liquid coming down. There's cans going everywhere. We are covered in beer. And other liquids, I believe, as well. Everyone is going insane. We might have a slight rain delay here on the 16th. At the 8th, the second for Richie Warinski at one over. Typically only plays a draw, loves the right to left, so this front left hole location should look good to his eye. This looks really good to his eye. One hole, this one looks hole, great. One hole. Nice. Yeah. This looks perfect. Xander Shoffley at 126 yards left of the short par four third. And that is the closest of the day so far at number three, and unlikely anyone will get any closer. That's for sure. You may have heard uh, some cheers on the adjacent fairway. Bo Hostler from 127. And that's why you heard the cheers. There you go. That's a good start. Two right out of the gate. Got off to a good start. Hit it way left off the tee. This is his second shot. Get a little hook spin on it, which he did. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, throw your club. Get out. Yeah, beautiful puff. The flag's 
just on the front. <laughs> a couple of paces to work with. Oh, you don't need much. Oh! You only need four and a quarter inches if you can do that. How about that? <laughs> An eagle for Patrick Rogers. Dangerous hole location there on the front right. This lake was added to the 1960 PGA by Robert Trent Jones to make the hole tougher. And it certainly worked. Oh, look how good he judged that wedge. Go in. After birding three of the first five holes, this was his second shot from 131 yards at the par 4 6. Eagle hole out to get to nine under. Five under on his first six holes. Chad Ramey, Fulton, Mississippi. Fifth hole here. Oh, here Ooh. we go. I oh. had to call that. That's, Come on. I know that's your hole, but that's my guy. That's but. okay, Jimmy. You can take it if you want. <laughs> Mississippi yeah, that State Bulldog. Right, go bro. dogs. A shot from Chad Ramey. This happened just a short time ago. At the 17th, 26-year-old Alex Smalley from 133 yards. One bouncing in. The third ace in four days. There have been 10 aces at 17 in the first 40 years the event's been played here. He was playing with Jerry Kelly. Smalley wasn't born when Kelly played in his first Players' Championship. But the 26-year-old has a memory that will last a lifetime. A little bit of mud on that golf ball. All the way from 134 yards. Oh, <laughs> the best bogey you'll see today. <laughs> he just counted on his fingers. The veteran Luke Donald well off to the right off the tee to this par four. Second shot up the hill. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it didn't matter. He didn't need to be in the fairway. <laughs> oh, this one looks pretty good if it's the right distance. Oh, in the hole. How about that birdie? <laughs> Adam Hadwin. 137 yards, soars off the follow through. Checks up on that second bounce. Zoop. See ya. One bounce, two bounces. See you later. And home a second. Just 138. 130, I think, the operative number, and that's gap wedge. Oh, oh man. Oh, that shot. How beautiful was that shot, Ian? Oh, Max, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? What a call. R3, 139 today. If I'm not mistaken, John Ha was the guy who had the shaft that Hovland was able to stick in his driver. Oh, oh how about that? Got what another one. Shot. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it says she said in. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, finally. <laughs> what a Get shot. It up. <laughs> Delayed reaction. Uh, <laughs> over at 15, Max Homer. 12 under though. Front right flag here, 140. In behind it. And in it goes. Hole in one for Homer. His second career ace on the PGA Tour. All right, this is the par three second, and that's Martin Laird. Won earlier this year in Las Vegas at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Look out. Bingo. That's how you do it, in behind the flag. Use the slope, spin it back. But this is from earlier today. If you haven't seen this, watch this action for local resident Jason Day. <laughs> On his way to a round of 68. Playing in the afternoon wave, he started his round at the 10th. His second into the par 4 13th off an eagle at 12, hits the front of the green, 
and tracks in with holding speed for back-to-back -back Eagles. And Trey Mullinex off to a blistering start six under through his opening six holes. Now the par three playing 144 yards today. Team moved up a little bit. Wedge for Stewart. Release, release, got it. This little bump off that uh, fringe and into the hole. It's been a while since we've seen a hole in one. That was great. Well, Robert Stripp just inside the top 100, predicted. It's from 146 yards. That flag is tantalizingly close to the right. It's not going to matter. Moment ago, second for Justin Thomas from 146. Oh, he loves this tee shot. A lot of them have been documented like that one. This will suck yeah. right down to the hole. That's there. how you play a team today. A possible eagle too. Oh yeah. You can't put it in, knock it in from the fairway. I was just going to say that, see? All right, this is just a moment ago. This is Sam Ryder on the short par four. Accessible hole location today. I'd say very accessible. This guy holds out a lot of shots, Jimmy. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> Matt Fitzpatrick is also on the move. 149 yards away at the third. Take a look at this beauty. And it falls. Fitzpatrick with a two there at the third. We are seeing all kinds of great shots. This was earlier today before the tens of thousands. Jared Lyle with an eight iron. Do that big fella. They don't have a Hall of Fame partner at number 16, but if they did, Lyle would go in. <laughs> from earlier today. One of the men who was trying to solidify a position in Atlanta next week at Eastlake was Kevin Kisner. His second at the 10th was a beauty. Jars it there for an eagle. Tigers got 152 yards. Should be just a nice, comfortable nine iron for him. They're gonna go nuts when he hits this thing. <laughs> Danny McCarthy has yet to win a PGA Tour event. Wouldn't this be a heck of a breakthrough? And wasn't this a heck of a second shot at the sixth? Holds it out. McCarthy with a 65 today. He's nine under for the championship. Moments ago, out at the par three, 15th. This Scott Brown plays out of the Palmetto Golf Club, Aiken, South Carolina. Sheer perfection. And I love that the entire group turned around. <laughs> Earlier today on the eve of St. Patrick's Day, Ireland's Seamus Power, the 32-year-old at the third. Oh, playing 155. Put that one on the scorecard. An ace, just the fourth in the history of this event at the third hole. They need to get six of them at least, maybe seven. Well, here's a good look at one right here. Oh. 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 The eagle has landed. Ross Fisher on the tee. Did he do it, David? Going with just a nine iron, 157 yards. Did he do it? Yes, he did. Ross Fisher with a hole in one at the third. How about it? This was a moment ago at 15. Cameron Davis. Oh, right at it. 
Oh, this has potential. And yes. <laughs> Perfect. How about Jimmy Walker from Fairway? Another guy that's been working really hard on this game, trying to make a couple of tweaks to his swing. Oh, oh yes. Oh, you worked on the right things, I guess. Was that any good? Let's go back to 16. It could have been shaken or stirred. Never know. Uh -oh. Big turn here for Spieth. Oh, is this any good? Is this any good? One more roll. One more. Oh, yeah. He is crazy. He hold it at 10 on Thursday. He just hold it at 16. Well, if you're looking for textbook alignment, there it was right there. Feet, knees, hips, chest, shoulder line. Oh, that's why if you aim dead straight, that happens. Go mad. Go wild. Yes. Go for it. Celebrate yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Celebrate. Come on. Give it up. Yeah, man. Wow. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know, Sam Burns, one of those players that uh, Cooch is getting a front row seat. Oh, he made it! And there we have it! Amazing! Burn, baby Burn! Sam Burns dunks it! They move the tee way up. It's 163 yards, and the wind is cranking straight down. And Max Homa bouncing it in to the cup. Well, how fun is this? He just launched it straight up in the air with a short iron and then legislated perfectly for the release. And the first career ace on tour happens for Max Homa. Drop back to 13, one more time. Keegan Bradley's third shot. Oh! I'm glad we went back to 13. We're about to go off the air in five minutes or so, but Keegan Bradley beats the clock. To 17. This is Kevin Strillman from the fairway. 165 out. Oh, go ahead. Kevin Struman, who was going the wrong direction, two over par early in his round, gets back to even. High fives all around for the likable Kevin Struman. No second at the ninth. Trying to judge it coming out of that rough. Is he going to match Doug again? He is. Maybe even better. How good is this? Oh! No says yes. That's a walk-off eagle right there. Wind's pushing down and off the right, so just a little bit more difficult unless you want to try and hold a cut in there, but I uh, don't really see that happening right here. Well. Oh, yes! Took an aggressive line and two hops it right in the hole. They were going low, and no one has gone lower than Siwoo Kim. Take a look at how he ended his first round today at the par 4 18th. Second shot in to come home in 28. He needed nine putts on the back nine to shoot 62. The weekend is upon us at the Concession Golf Club, and just earlier at the par 3 6th, Trevor Simsby with a seven iron in his hands. Asked the golf ball to fly, it listened, and then waltzed right into the cup for a hole in one. Harris English next to play at eight. Oh! <clears throat> Bingo! It's about time. Harry just playing some great golf today. Finally, hoops won. This is Wyndham Clark, and this was a moment ago at 17. Go here. How about it? Oh, you like perfection, Steve? <laughs> Perfect. Clark to 14 under with the hole in one. How about that? The man who dominated in this event last year, one by 10. World number one, Jordan Spieth. Pretty good. Not bad shot. Pretty good. Coming off a pretty good one. Oh, okay. Hello then. Back at it is Spieth. The man still playing like Superman. Absolutely nothing going right for him all day. 
asked for a pep talk a few holes ago and it hadn't been working. He needs birdie birdie to make the putt. Oh, oh, what? Slam dunk on MJ's birthday. Forget birdie birdie just hold the third shot for Eagle. And now on the cut line. Yes he is. Just a moment ago at the par three this is Peter Malnati. Not having the best of days. Pretty looking swing though. Looks a little like Luke Donald. Look at this. Can it be? Center cut for Peter Malnati. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. How about a hole in one on Easter Sunday at Harbour Town? Past champion here, 175 to the hole here at the tough 11th. Only seen nine birdies here today. Third hardest hole on the course. This looks good. Even better than good. Webb Simpson at Eagle at 11. Don't count him out yet. It's a strong seven iron. That's your head, especially holding into the. Oh, how about that? Does he even know? I mean, that's not a reaction of a guy that just holds a shot. He does not know. He's got his putter in his hand. Go tell him, John. Yeah, we just go in. I went in. See? Yeah. 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 How's the most like? I, I, I I'm not even get close. Four to seventeen. A moment ago, this is Alex Chaka at the par three seventeenth. Take a listen. Tommy Fleetwood joined the ace party at the fourth. Yesterday morning. A little different style here. Taking on Dylan Fratelli. And his reaction a little different. Well ahead. The guy who was the last man in the field here. Sepp Straka. Yeah, <laughs> there you go, Sep. That's how you get to 200, 200 par real quick. Thomas ready to play. More That's aggressive a, line. Yeah, that is a little left of the hole. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, oh, oh. What a day Justin Thomas is having. He's a highlight reel. Oh my. <laughs> Almost embarrassed by it, right? Yeah. For Hubbard, take you back to that second. You're at the par four, six yeah, over. Yeah, you're six at this over point. thinking, well, I'm just playing and who knows what might happen. And the, oh, that's, this is fortunate. Got over that mound and in, and thank you very much. I'm still four. I don't know. But what does it mean? Already it was a good day for Matt Kuchar, but it got an awful lot better. Two up on Ross Fisher, and then at the par three, seventh hole, 181 yards, lands it short. And you know where this is going. Yep. So here's the question, Terry. With this many people, does he have to buy drinks for everybody? Yeah, everybody, including us. He shot a Victor Hovland at the seven, and I Heard the roar. I have a feeling this is the shot that may have elicited that big roar that we heard. Holes in the right side of the green. Oh, Victor. Victory. <laughs> this was a moment ago at the 15th. Jakobsen. Familiar lean. Turned it around the gum tree, and it's going to be a beauty. Oh, again? Another one hold. Oh, my goodness. Three today hold. Another one <laughs> finds the cup. Well done. Charlie Hoffman now at the fourth. Oh, have a look at this one. Yes. You couldn't draw that up any better. <laughs> There's already been a bunch of haul outs. Well, this was round one. Pat and Kazire on the eighth tee. Not often you Soft. can say a shot is Soft. absolutely Soft. perfect. But this one was. Yeah! <laughs> Everybody! 
exactly what he was trying to do, right? How about this day? We have our leader, Cameron Young, taking it off the flag stick at 18. And now this from Corey Connors. Right. Does that leave? Oh, oh, right over the center of it. And like a six footer, really, generally into the cup. The left side of the tee box, just a nice easy swing. Bring it on back and bounce it in. That yellow golf ball, ah! the yellow flag, and disappear in that white little hole. Yeah, a moment ago for Scotty Scheffler. Using that little breeze to nudge it in. Oh, Scotty! <laughs> How about that for a moment? Well, if the putter's not working, just hold it. Just avoid it. Before the rain, some of the highlights. This was Anders Albertson at the par 3 ninth. 190 yards and in the business, this one is perfect. 26-year-old rookie, and that was the first ace for Albertson on the PGA Tour. Over to 17. A moment ago, this is Alex Cheka at the par 3 17th. Take a listen. Oh! <laughs> That's a hole in one roar. How about Alex Chayka? Take a bow, Alex, you deserve it. We are back at the ninth hole of par five, all the way back there in the right rough, hitting a second shot. Gary Koch, that's James Hahn on this par five. And uh, uh, take a look at this, Gary. This is uh, perhaps the rarest feat in all of golf, Steve. See it bounce on the front edge, yeah. and then watch. Disappears. Uh, uh, yeah. Double eagle, the albatross. A phenomenal first one in the season. Adam Schenk, his second shot at the ninth. 193 yards coming in. Big golf hole, ranking second in difficulty. Yet Shank, with that shot, a hole out eagle as he jumps two spots up the leaderboard with an eagle two. Second shot for Andrew Landry. We've already seen some fireworks at this sixth hole earlier in the week. Players are pumping it out there. Only 194 left for Andrew. Oh gosh. Bangs into the stick and goes down for the Eagle two. To 11. Par three, Kevin Tway, 195. Just a few seconds ago. Tell me what happened then. Well. No, it did it, did it, did it. Yeah. That happened. Yeah, it did it happen. You knew that and didn't tell me. I did not. <laughs> Fellow competitor saying drinks on you, buddy. Oh, Ryan Brem just one out of the lead now. Brem's at three. Oh, Would no love to pick here. up one here at 17. Here he Jez Reevy at 17. Four under through his first seven holes. He teed off the 10th. The yardage, 197 yards. And on the button, six under through his first eight holes. Man, we have seen some crazy low scoring. First hole in one this week, and it comes from Jez Reevy. Playing his second from 198. This par five. Huge tee shot down there. Whole location all the way in the back right corner. Oh, this is pretty good. You think? An albatross. How cool is that? And this was just a moment ago. Greg Chalmers on the tee with a six iron. Playing a little left-handed draw, moving the ball from left to right. <laughs> so Greg Chalmers putting the hole in one at 16. Some pretty good line here. Will it? Will it? Maybe. Patrick Cantley! There it is! No need to putt that one. 